Have you ever wanted to go to SpaceX's Starbase but thought the trip was too expensive or too far away? Well worry no more, because now you can with Starbase Simulator. This brand new game on the Epic Games Store brings Starbase to life in a fun and interactive way. You can transport, stack, launch, catch and blow up the Starship and Super Heavy Rockets alone or in multiplayer with friends. At the end of this video, I will show you how you can get a chance at winning a free copy of Starbase Simulator on Epic Games. So what exactly is Starbase Sim about? Well, in the words of the creator, the goal of Starbase Simulator is to learn, understand and appreciate the technology of Starbase and the Starship program on a deeper level. It is still very much under development and not even close to being finished, and in my opinion it is already very interesting to play. So let's have a look at just some of the features in Starbase Simulator. So here we are at the launch pad. We have a fully stacked Starship Super Heavy Rocket on the OLM. So let's see if we can fuel this thing up and launch it. So first things first, the chopsticks are in the way, so we can just open them just like this. You can use the chopsticks to stack the Super Heavy Booster onto the OLM and then stack Starship on top of it and stuff like that. We can just press enter right here and we have loaded the Super Heavy Booster with 3400 tons of propellant. Same goes for the ship. There we go, 1200 tons of propellant. And we can now set the booster to do its roll pro- Okay, that's not optimal. Anyways, like I was saying, we can now set up the booster to do its roll program as soon as it clears the tower. And I can see the stack wiggling a bit, so that's making me kind of nervous. So we have engine ignition, there we go. Engines full power and we have liftoff. Alright, so we can now follow the Super Heavy Booster on its way up into space. So the vehicle is doing its roll program. We can start doing our gravity turn right about now. So we're going strong, our gravity turn is going well. The ship has not yet fallen off, so that is definitely a positive when compared to last time. We're still going strong, we can press this button here to switch to a fin cam. I mean, just look at this. It's awesome. All the cool cams are here, also on the ship, we can uh, use flap cam. There we go, awesome as hell. So now let's do something that's also very awesome, which is hot staging. There we go. So, three engines on the Super Heavy remain firing. There, we have Starship Ignition, and now the Super Heavy Booster will go into a retrograde position to do its boost back burn. We are now in a retrograde position. That doesn't seem very retrograde. Let's see if RCS can help us out a bit here. Okay, this seems about right. And now we go full throttle. No, okay, that might be a glitch. But we're still going strong, so maybe there is hope. I mean, there probably isn't, considering that we'll run out of fuel within the next five seconds, probably. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. More up, more up. Okay, that's, that's too much up. Okay, this... No, no, please, no! Okay. Let's see if we can somehow save this. Okay, you know what? This might actually work. If we're lucky with... Okay, I'm just gonna start the engines. And pray that we don't die. Alright, alright. This is good. Velocity is decreasing. Okay, oh, oh no, this isn't good! Ah! Well, my first attempt at landing a super heavy booster and we ended up smashing into the Gulf of Mexico at the speed of sound. Sound familiar? Another thing that you can do is the transport and stacking of the Starship and super heavy vehicles. So we can move over here to SPMT, self propelled modular transporter. We can start the engine and now press drive backward. That seems about right, so now we can extend the pistons at the bottom and start driving. Now you need to drive these things very carefully because they do have a tendency of falling over and I'd rather not have a 70 meter high rocket falling down in the middle of the highway. And we are slowly inching closer to the two towers. The one on the left is obviously still in construction in real life and so is it in the game. And Starbase Sim is updated pretty regularly. I believe actually they're soon adding the Massey's test site, which is going to be awesome. Can't wait to static fire some ships there. 
Another day at Starbase where you just get to take your rocket for a joyride. So here's the second tower. First one is back there. Alright, so that is where we need to be standing somehow. Okay, I, I think this might be this might be it. Let's now retract the pistons and try to somehow stack this thing onto the orbital launch mount. Right, here we go. We are lowering the chopsticks. Let's see. Will it clear the grid fins? I think it just might. Oh, that's not good. No! Okay, okay, okay. I think we're clear. So it did actually hit this grid fin right here. With the push railing on the chopstick, we can raise the chopsticks to catch the lifting points. There we go. Okay. So on the right side, we can now start bringing the pushers to the pin and same goes for the left side all right this is about as centered as they are going to get without me having to take the booster off of the transport stand so let's release the clamps there we go so the booster is now pretty much hanging free only by the chopsticks so let's move it up a bit so it clears the transport stand and now we can center the pushers Okay, the booster is now centered on the chopsticks, so we can now lift it. I gotta tell you, this looks awesome in my opinion. Alright, there we go, and now we can move it over to the OLM. Alright, this is looking good. There we go. Okay, and now we can lower it until it's pretty much in there. Alright. So it's right there, and now we can try to extend the OLM clamps, maybe? Uh, is that secure? I don't know. Looks pretty good to me. Let's move the pushers apart. There we go. And let's slowly lower the chopsticks. There we go! It's stable on the OLM. So, we can open the arms now. And we have just rolled a booster all the way from the Mega Bay and stacked it on top of the orbital launch mount. So let's do a quick 33 engine static fire, just because... why not? Oh! Okay. That was not what I was expecting. So, after that interesting static fire, these were just some of the features in Starbase Simulator. And with dozens more to come, I think that it is a very promising game. The work that Ashtarak has been putting into Starbase Sim is incredible and he deserves all your love and support. So please, if you can, you would do him a massive favor by picking up Starbase Simulator on the Epic Games Store. Now one of you lucky viewers will get a free Starbase Simulator key and all you have to do to enter the giveaway is follow Ashtarak on Twitter slash X, subscribe to Xenoth KSP on YouTube and leave your Discord username in the comments. The link to his Twitter page will be in the description. In exactly one week time a random viewer will be chosen to win a free Starbase Simulator key on the Epic Games Store. So that was Starbase Simulator. Personally I love this game. Even with the current features, I could spend hours playing around with Megazilla and launching rockets and stuff like that. So, thank you Ashtarak for providing me with a key that I could give away to one of my viewers. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.